It is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened, and it didn't. Former Vice President Joe Biden denies the sexual assault allegation by his former staffer, Tara Reid. Reid alleges then-Senator Biden sexually assaulted her in 1993. Moments before speaking, Biden called on the Secretary of the Senate to ask the National Archives to, quote, identify any record of the complaint she alleges she filed and make available to the press any such document. If there was ever any such complaint, the record will be there. No one that I'm aware of in my campaign, at, or excuse my, my Senate office at the time, is aware of any such uh, request and, uh, uh, or any such complaint. But Biden was not willing to allow his Senate documents under seal at the University of Delaware to be released. There, is, there are no personnel documents, but you can't do that. They're private documents. They're not for the, they don't, they don't get put out in the public. Multiple prominent women have endorsed Biden for president even after the accusation, including Hillary Clinton and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. He's a person of great integrity, a great concern for the American people. One senior Trump advisor is calling for further investigation. Unseal the records, let us go through them. Meantime, President Trump speculated Thursday Biden may have been falsely accused. It could be false accusations. I know all about false accusations. I've been falsely charged numerous times. Biden says he doesn't know what Reid's motivation is and adds he's never entered a non-disclosure agreement. In her first ever briefing, White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany says President Trump is pleased former Vice President Joe Biden has agreed to go on the record and deny the allegations. When asked about sexual misconduct accusations against President Trump, Ms Maganani accused the media of unnecessarily resurrecting a years-old issue. We are pleased that the former vice president has decided to go on the record. It took him less than, what, 16 hours to follow the advice of the president of the United States and come out and publicly address those claims. So, you know, we're glad to see that he's on the record on this. The president has uh, swiftly denied all of these allegations that were raised four years ago. Um, he has always told the truth on these issues. Um, he's denied them immediately. And you're bringing up issues, like I said, from four years ago that were asked and answered and the American people had their say in the matter when they elected President Trump as President of the United States. But, you know, the media, leave it to the media to really take an issue about the former vice president and turn it on the president and bring up accusations from four years ago that were asked and answered in the form of the vote of the American people.